The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Just look at this. We're so close. We're so close to finally getting 100%. Well, ish, I guess. Gotta find one more of this. A few more of these. And which one? These are definitely gonna be annoying. Kind of gross. But. We'll see. Before we get with the main quest right here, I want to do want to check these two real quick. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Uh, thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it, and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. And don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the three broomsticks. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. 
From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Slidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. That was interesting. Uh, I know. She seemed kind of shady. And that or she felt guilt of um, uh, doing something bad. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Yes, ma'am. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. 
Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. It's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends. <laughs> Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see... We've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping. 
But I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. <laughs> Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Really? You were just around there. somewhere Natty's wand she can cast without it she wanted me to find this she's in trouble Ravelio will show me where she was taken Ravelio Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. A 
footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Revelio. Accio. The hidden door. Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Later, they're in some trouble. They need to be reminded that we're still running things. Feldcroft was extraordinarily oh, yeah. dull. Oh, yeah. Does no one put up a good fight anymore? I don't what? How do I get mixed up in this? Doing Rookwood's work for him. Loud as a troll you are! My loyalty to Bookwood and no one else. Perhaps it's dinner I'm hearing. I don't mind breaking a few bones. There's a few. Revelio. Has your brain been infested with fundamentals? A maneuver like that could have gone and killed you. The girl's friend won't cut you. <laughs> Expulsion! Bombarder! <laughs> What's the point of this? Several times. 
can't understand why more don't. They're remarkable. Revelio. Say I blame them, what with all I've done there. Revelio. That he must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my want for you. Speak to Mr. Raven. He was. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natalie was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. Revelio! I don't trust Glenrock. I'll tell you that. He'll turn on us first chance he gets. I'm proud of you. Afraid to face me? What are you, shy? I'll see more courage in a Knew you were still there. <laughs> Rebellion. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Aloha, Mora. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Revelio. Pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. 
Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Rebellion. The book of poems that was taken from Agnes Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Revelio. once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isko Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Ah. Uh. I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. you're doing thank you from me and rosie both we're just leaving for our honeymoon 
after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. <laughs> Revelio. Trophies, me chess. But I'm gonna have to check all that on my own time. The gargoyle, that's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Revelio. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio! Revelio. That must be the pedestal. Am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Lee. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs.
I should have run when I could. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. Straight ahead. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Since when did this turn into a horror game? This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but... I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looked closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Oh my gosh, just making my fingers sweat. <laughs> my chance. Oh my gosh, how much further do I have to go? <laughs> That's the way forward. I'm invisible. <sighs> the 
they can't see me at all, I can get closer to them. Nay, I don't want to do that. I'll kill like this. It's just to be case. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching. But this time you will be unable to hide. Nice. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Rebellion. 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 Ouch. Defender. Bombarda. 
Yeah.